crotch gets a Lonsdale foul to keep forever if he completes what would be a fourth British Championship win here. He's in the black trunks, the hometown hero with massive support here, though Dodson's brought a few with him as well from Liverpool. So it's a cracking atmosphere here in this Nottingham arena. Dodson, an underdog, but very bullish about his chances. He says he's now at a peak physically and mentally after all his problems over the last couple of years following his car crash. I think Crotch was the one who started the elbow warfare. That nice clip in the chin from Dodson. And they both seemed to land at the same time. Dodson's was a better shot, yet he's getting through. You can always pick holes in Carl Crotch's technique. His defence is leaking. It's very leaky in the opening round here. Dodson really going for it early on here, looking to unsettle Frotch. He says he would have taken this fight for less than £5,000 even. It's not about the money. He really wants to come here and put Frotch away in front of his own fans. Well, I've always had the feeling with Carl Frotch, if he needed to do better, he could do better than all the times I've seen him. But I think tonight he's going to have, I think the gum shield just come out yeah, there. And it was the jab that did it, the left jab of Dodson that knocked his gum shield clean out. It's an unsettling start for Frotch. Dodson quicker. Well, it might have been Dodson's gum shield, in fact, that's come out in all of that. No, it is Dodson's gum shield. Beg your pardon. Yeah, but Frotch is the one with the leaky defence here in the opening round. You pick up bad habits and you think these bad habits could be tightened up when the time comes, but they can't. But it looks like he's, he wants to rely on his power and catch Dodson with one of these bombs as early as possible. He's setting himself for the right hand. Russia had a great win last time, knocking out Brian McGee in the 11th round. Eye-catching victory, that one. Dodson feels, Jim, that he's, he's been hardened by his experiences over the last couple of years. Yeah, well, I think Dodson had a big performance when he was only 21 and people started gauging him with the performance against Brian Barboza and it was unfair. He wasn't ready to keep that kind of form going. But he's 26 now, he's mature and he really seems up for this. Dodson again with that, sorry, Frotch with the left hand low, trying to wind up the right hand. I didn't think we'd see that tonight, I thought we'd, we'd have seen a tighter defence. Slow start this from Crotch, the British and Commonwealth champion. It's a very low guard, you wonder if he might pay for that sometime. There's never any suggestion though that his chin is in any way dodgy and he does have power. I don't think he really has any weaknesses, Carl Frotch. I, think, I just think it's in his temperament sometimes. He wants to show the other fellow that he doesn't really respect him. He drops his hands, hangs his chin out, and bites the punches. But that was a good round in my book for the challenger, and he's smiling. No showboating here, no throwing the head, no showing your chin. Coming behind that left hand, right? The yeah. double job, the double job's going to get you in for this. Welcome back to the Nottingham Arena. Arena. All right. Good start by Welcome Tony on. Dodson from Liverpool. You got me there? Yeah. yeah, well, he's the one who's up for this. Uh, Carl Frotz, the defence that we've criticised in the past. I mean, it's such an important fight and such an important time in his career. I'm surprised his defence was so lax in the opening round. Frotch in the black trunks. A little jab from him. Was he off balance there, Dodson, or was there more to it than that? I think it was just a balancing. I'm not sure if the, the feet came together there. I don't think there was a punch landing. See, the way Frotch leans away from punches, if you double the jab and throw the right hand, as Dodson's just done, you're going to get a result because when you've pulled the head back, there's nowhere else to take it. 
Crotch good enough in his amateur days to be a world championship bronze medalist for Nottingham. Wants to win one of the big world titles as well. But so far, it's just a little bit of a danger that he could be caught cold by Dodson's fast, intense start. Is there a little bit of complacency from Crotch? See, I think it's part of his act. He likes to show that he's not troubled by anything you've got or anything you can do. He wants to look casual as though it's a kind of arrogance he's got which has made him successful so far but it's dangerous there's no question he has talent power all the ingredients he just has this little funny part in his nature he will feel despite this start from Dodson that he has things perfectly under control in there I'm sure of that well he had some uh, uncomfortable moments against De Bruyne McGee but he always felt everything was under control he could put the pedal down when he wanted I don't have that impression yet, it's only early days of course. He does realise he can turn everything around with that right hand he has, that right hand lead. Starting to get that jab off, Frotch. I think it's just breaking Dodson's concentration, it's not really landing as a, as a weapon. I think he's just trying to, to break the concentration, they're flicking it out. Dodson has had setbacks along the way. He lost to Barazan Davitan, the Birmingham based fighter. That was a bit of a shock. And then a couple of ninth round stoppages, although one was on cuts. Seemed to lose his way, really, after being something of a teenage star with a lot of big rave notices and a lot expected of him. A lot of threats, a lot of feints in this round, but not too many real clean punches landed. So Frotch is certainly. Woken up his ideas a little bit. Good job. Just beginning to settle, you sense, Frotch here. I get the feeling that Frotch is physically the stronger of the two, and I think that may be the deciding factor as this goes on. But credit to Dodson, he's doing okay, but uh, not quite as good as he was in the opening round. Little word between them at the end of the round, too. You showed it in once and you threw a right hand, right? Jabs, jab all day long. Every couple of seconds I want a jab in his boat. I want your elbows in a bit more and I want you lighter on your feet. Lighter on your feet, elbows in more, head movement and shooting that jab, all right? And he'll walk onto the right hand, okay? Yeah. Don't wing with nothing and don't show him that uppercut, all right? The jab, bust him up, up and down. Well, Don't with don't, Carl don't in the right hand will go off it, all right? Good job, yeah. Yeah, put your legs out. Well, okay. good advice as the usual from Robert McCracken, but will Carl Frost take it? I don't know. Time will tell. Move right? Nottingham that's produced a fair few fighters down the years. Wally Swift, Dave Needham, Harold Graham came from here though, came to be associated with Sheffield. Kirkland Lang, who actually beat Roberto Duran in his career. More latterly, Jav Kalik and the Booth brothers as well. There was Slugger O'Toole from Nottingham as well in years gone by. I think maybe Dodson is tumbled, he's going to have to put punches together, twos and threes. Frotch is pulling away from single punches and he's very dangerous with the right hand lead. Yep. I think that one landed a little bit high on Dodson there. Just starting to find his rhythm, Carl Frotch after an awkward opening round. Dodson looking to whip up a storm. Nicely pick punch there on the back foot break, from front. Break, 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 break! Time out! Come here, both of you. Come here. When I say break, no punches, you understand me? Break when I say, says Ref Bill Edwards. I think Dodson just a little bit weary. I think he's felt the power in these shots. They haven't landed cleanly. Some of he's caught on his arms. But the power has been there and he knows he cannot make mistakes. Too impressed with Frotch's work up close. But he's wasting a lot, Dodson, at the moment. Very, very eager. 
single jabs in the main from Froch. It's a better shot that time from Dodson, a little left-hand chopping counter. And quite a lot of debate, hasn't there, Jim, about how good Carl Froch is, and opinions do vary. Well, I have a fairly high opinion of him. I don't, I don't think he believes me in some of my commentaries, but I just feel... He does things wrong on purpose, it's part of his style, he takes chances, he hangs his chin out, look, drops his hands. But I've no, no question in my mind, he is ready to move on from domestic level, he is heading towards world class. Sometimes I just wish he would tighten things up a little bit. I guess he just fights the way he fights, doesn't he? I, I, I guess a style is like a DNA almost, doesn't it? Yeah, but and having said that, I mean, the, the fans react well to it, it is exciting to watch. I think the big difference when Froch lands the punch, yeah, Dodson, ah, that's a beautiful shot. That was the shot that floored Brian McGee. Exact same way, a hand up and cut. And if you lured him into that, and there's another good shot, and Dodson goes down, picking the punches quite carefully. Froch nods to the crowd almost nonchalantly as Dodson takes this count. Is he going to get up? No, he isn't. It is all over. Tony Dodson is knocked out. Carl Froch retains the British and Commonwealth Super Middleweight titles over and over quickly as well in round three and Froch gives the Nottingham fans exactly what they came for. Yeah, well I think another performance from Carl Froch but if you want you can nitpick with the technique the way you go about it. But again the message is I'm Carl Froch, I'll do it the way I want to do it and that's the way I wanted to do it and the job's done, and rather convincing like that. A beautiful uppercut to set that up with a tremendous body shot. No way Tony Dodson to, to come back from that. He's done it again. 20 unbeaten fights now for Carl Froch, and already ranked high in the world, number four, in fact, by the WBO and WBC, seven by the IBF. He's chasing Joe Calzaghi. It's hard to see that particular fight coming off well Tony Dodson he had a lot to say before the fight but I'm afraid his challenge lasted just three rounds after what was a bright start for him well, it was almost a replica of the punch that floored Brian McGee look how nicely he picked that he knows he saw Dodson coming forward he knew at this point what punch he was throwing where the punch was going Bang on, Dodson did well to take that, but probably that's what brought the hands up in his defence. And look at that body shot right into the short rib. Can't toughen up things down there. And that just took everything away from Dodson. Beautiful punch. Just you see the lever, he's through the right hand, which was partially blocked, then turned the hips and shoulders with the left hook to the body. A beautiful punch. Quality shot, wasn't it, Jimmy? It just knocked everything out of Dodson. Yeah, well, that's the, the, the punch that looks so good on the punch bag. The way the right shoulder comes through, then you're in a position to get full leverage into the left hand to the body, everything behind it. The hips, the so shoulders, well set with the legs. A beautiful punch. As soon as that landed, you knew it was all over. And he has a Lonsdale belt to keep now. He can put it on the mantelpiece back at home, Carl Froch. And that he would regard as landmark number one. He says he wants to do it the old-fashioned way. British Commonwealth, well, European title, that would beckon certainly for him. And beyond that, maybe a big world title chance for Carl Froch. Great night for him here. He's done it in three rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 55 seconds of round three, the referee's count had reached 10. The winner by count out and still... Super Middleweight Champion of Great Britain and the Commonwealth, Carl Froch! Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciations, Tony Dodson! And I'll now ask the steward in charge, Mr Tony Behan, to present the Commonwealth belt and the Lonsdale belt, which Carl now makes his own property. Ladies and gentlemen, the super middleweight champion of Great Britain and the Commonwealth, Carl Froch!